Hi everyone, it's Bob Perkins with AISP's Inside Sales Studio and the Monday Morning Sales Minute. I'm here with James Murphy. James, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Bob. Uh, thanks for having me. It's good to have you. Uh, James is the founder of Murphy Consulting Group. Uh, out of Phoenix, Arizona, where I know it's going to be like 100 degrees today. So hopefully <laughs> you're in a cool place. Um, but James and I spoke last week about something very important to our industry, and that is keeping retaining employees. And he's going to share a few great tips with us. So uh, James, all yours. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, I just want to share a few uh, quick and easy steps that you can do to help retain your employees. Um, a few of these things are, are very easy to implement. You can do them right away uh, and get started today. But uh, and they seem really kind of high level and like, oh, wow, I don't know why I'm doing that. But so many companies miss it, and it's because you get caught up in the day to day of you know growth and scale and you know finding the next win and all of those things that some of this gets left behind. So uh, starting off, number one, communication, uh, communicating the vision. Uh, of the company where you're going early and often. So a lot of times in onboarding, we talk about the products and we talk about the customer and we talk about uh, the people who are leading the company, but we don't talk a ton about the vision of the company, why the company was established, what we're looking to achieve in the next you know, one to three years. Um, and those things are really important because if you want people to get behind what you're doing and get behind your mission, they need to understand why your company is doing things the way that it is. They need to understand where it's going and they need to understand how they fit into that. So communication needs to be succinct across the organization from the CEO all the way down to the newest hire, of why we're here, what we're doing, what the vision is, what the mission is of the company. Um, and then it needs to constantly be reiterated in coachings and one-on-ones and top down uh, from, their, from their direct leader and their direct manager um, almost on a daily basis, just to keep that top of mind. Uh, second, you didn't make it about them. This uh, Without them, there is no company, right? The business is just an idea without the employees. So you need to make every uh, decision that you do as a company about the people. How does this affect the people? Often we think about how does this affect the customer? How does this affect the bottom line? How does, what, what's the board going to think? And the reality is like all of that is that's true. But at the end of the day, if your people aren't bought into it and they don't feel like the things that we're doing and the decisions that we're making are in the best interest of them, they're not going to be on board with it. And if they're not going to be on board with it and they're not on board, they're going to leave. And that's a much harder conversation to have with your board of why people are leaving your organization in droves versus just having the conversation about, hey, listen, we're going to make this about them. They need to understand why we're doing these things. And you know, what we're doing is in the best interest of our people first. Uh, and then three, you know, one of the main reasons that people leave, we've all heard the stat, people don't leave companies, they leave their manager, which is true, but they leave their manager because they're not developed and they're not being challenged on a daily basis. They're not getting uh, progression in their career. They don't see a place for them to go. I have had thousands of interviews uh, over my career. And I think the main theme that, that sticks out when people say, when I ask, why are you leaving your current company is because there's no opportunity for me to grow. There's nowhere yeah. for me to go. There's nowhere where for me to move up. And the reality is that's probably not true. There probably is opportunity for you to move up, but you're not being developed, right? Nobody is saying, okay, here's your career path. Here's how we're going to get you to where you need to be. Uh, and that's one of the biggest things. So communicate the vision, uh, early and often, Make it about them, about your employees, and develop your people. Those are three pretty easy things that you can implement and uh, execute on on a daily basis to help you retain your employees. This is great. These are three things. You know what? You mentioned that, well, they're kind of high level and simple, but they're not being really executed on by a lot of leaders today. And I love all three of these. I noted that Nowhere in this discussion, James, did you talk about rewards and recognition or about compensation, whereas those are important, right? But they're not the key thing. In fact, the AISP did some research last year that pointed out empowerment was the single most important thing to longevity at a job. And you nailed it in your, in your second point. 
and your third point, really make it about them, give them the yep. opportunity for a new challenge. You're really empowering uh, the, the workforce. Would you, would you agree with that as well? Absolutely. Empowering people and then empowering them and then enabling them in order mm -hmm. to execute are those two have, they have to go hand in hand because you can empower people, but not enable them to make decisions, not enable them to, with the skills uh, in order to, to move forward. Right. Um, so that empowerment means nothing, right. If you're not giving them what they need in order to, to execute. So those two things have to go hand in hand, the empowerment and uh, enablement. Look, there's also a, there's a, a verse in the Old Testament. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in Proverbs, but it talks about vision. It says, without the vision, people will perish. You said the same thing. If you don't share a vision with, with the, the workforce, with the sales reps, they kind of founder a little bit, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. They do. Um, they, you know, with, if you don't know where you're going, it's very easy to get lost. Right. And <laughs> you can know where you're going. And look, we all do it. You're on a drive, right. And you know where you're going. Maybe you don't, maybe you're using GPS, but if you don't check back with the GPS every now and then you have kind of a pretty good idea of where you're <laughs> going, but you could end up really far off the map. If, uh, if you're not following that, that vision and those steps along the way. There you go. Three great points of uh, share a vision, make it about them challenge and develop. Uh, James, thanks so much for joining us. How can people get in touch with you if they want to continue uh, this discussion? Uh, thanks, Bob. Uh, thank, again, thanks for having me. Um, you can get in touch with me uh, on LinkedIn. Um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty active on LinkedIn. Uh, murphyconsultinggroup.com. You can, you can get in touch with me there or my email address, james at murphyconsultinggroup.com. Great. Thanks so much. Uh, again, everyone, it's great having you join us this Monday. Until next week, everyone, good selling. Bye-bye.